Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today it's sort of a different type of video as right now as I'm filming this, it is January 2019. And we've just had the end of 2018, I've celebrated that, I've made my 2018 video and I thought I want to start this year off by sort of setting out a list of goals and things that I want to do in 2019 and then see at the end of the year if I have done them or not. So one of the first things that I wanted to do this year was actually get my hair cut and as you can see I've done that. My hair used to be sort of this long, I'll insert a picture here of how long it used to be and I just thought I just wanted to get it cut. I haven't had it short for a long time but I do like my hair shorter as well as longer so it's still it's quite long in the front still but yeah I just wanted to get it cut so January already done that one so I'd like to see sort of where my hair is at the end of the year as I think I want to go back blonde again as I used to also be blonde so I don't know where my hair is going to go from here but at least I've got that one done so far which is a good start now probably one of the main things I want to do this year is go to Disneyland Paris oh, I have never been to any of the Disney's before but if you don't know, I'm a massive like theme park fan, a ride fan, like Disneyland is sort of the place that I want to go, like I love everything Disney, I've got so many Disney things, I love the Disney films, I love the rides, like it's just a place that I want to go and I've never got the chance to go because we've just never been as a family I guess and we're sort of a bit old now, me and my sister, so we sort of thought probably not ideal to go as a family because we all have to like pay and it's just, no. So this year, hopefully, I've decided that I want to go to Disneyland with Lee, my boyfriend, and maybe some other friends and family, I don't know. We'll see who wants to go. So I'm really hoping that I get to go as it's literally been a lifetime sort of dream that I've wanted to do. And it's only Paris. Everyone seems to have gone to Paris apart from me. So hopefully this year I'm gonna to get to go to Disneyland Paris and I'm gonna have the best time. And then maybe in the future, maybe I'll be doing a Disneyland USA type vlog because that is another place I really want to go but I'm thinking one step at a time I'll go to Paris first then then we'll get to the big part. This year I would also like to go to which is a really random place but Dubai. Now this is a bit of a funny story but my boyfriend Lee his brother lives and works in Dubai so he's been there for about nearly a year I think so far in January so I think he's going to be staying for sort of another couple of years but this year we let him sort of settle last year and I thought this is the year I want to go to Dubai it's sort of one of them places that I feel like you never go to normally you don't go oh I'm gonna to go to Dubai because it's too hot too expensive and there's not there's stuff to do there but it's not like touristy like it's too hot to go outside you couldn't go for like two weeks and somebody like it's just don't know so it's, I've always wanted to go there a lot of people I know have sort of been going especially on like YouTube all the youtubers are going and it looks really good and so I'm really wanting to go this year we can stay with Lee's brother and just explore and just visit the place even if you just do it once it's one of them places that I feel like I want to go to just once in my life to just see what it's like and I think it's going to be absolutely amazing but obviously we have to pick the times of year that we go so that it's not in school holidays it's not in the hottest time of the year like in August or June or any of those times so it's sort of we're thinking if anything it'll be in October time and sort of toward the end of this year so hopefully that's going to be something that I'm going to get to do this year I would like to, weirdly, this is a funny one, I'd like to visit Butlins because we used to go there every year without fail till I was probably 17, maybe that was our last year we used to go as a family in August every year since I was about 2 to when I was about 17 and since I went to uni and have been sort of a bit more busy and me and my sister have started working we sort of can't get the time off so we've not been Whereas this year, this is something I actually know we're doing because we had to book it. So in May, I'm going to book Lee's again and Lee's never been again and he's coming with us. And I just want to show him, we're going to the one in Skegness and we went to the one in Minehead, I think last year for the Steps Weekender, which if you watched my 2018 video, you'll have seen it in that. And that was really good, but it's not the same as Skegness. We always went to the Skegness one and they have this like amazing pool with like, rapids that you can go down and I just feel like it's a lot bigger and more to do so that was Lee's first time at Butlins in February and he was sort of like well it's good but it was quite small so I was like we're taking you to Skegness so we're going to Skegness in the end of May start of June for Friday to Monday so of course I'll have vlogged it by then uh, so I know that that's something that I want to do and I am going to do this year for sure so that's been really good and I hope it's like the best time because I haven't been there for so long and it's just nice to go back and just relive the memories and show Lee like what I did when I was younger and just go back and experience it. 
I really enjoy going to London, especially because Lee lives there. I get to go in quite a lot, and I love watching musicals and all the shows. And this year, only for a short period of time, Waitress is coming to London. And I'm not the biggest, like, I don't know the biggest amount about the musical, but starring it is Cat McPhee. And you probably will have no idea who she is, but we like have become obsessed with a series called Smash and she's the main character in that and um, we were watching it like I've seen it that many times it's so good it's basically that's about getting a musical on Broadway and she's in a musical within the film or series like it's very it's a it's a really good thing they had two series of it and then it got cancelled and we're like oh. and then one of my friends was watching a tv series on Netflix called Scorpion and I was watching it I was thinking I know her, that is Cat McPhee, and she was in Susan Scorpion as well, so if you've ever seen that, she's the, I don't know what her name is in that, but she's also in that, and she was in the Broadway version of Waitress in New York and all of that, and it was really good, and then they announced that they're bringing it to the UK, and she is going to be in it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to go, so we're trying so hard at the moment, nothing's been booked or anything, we're trying so hard to get to go to see it because I would just love to see her in it, like just see her in real life because she is an amazing singer actress, like she wasn't acting in Smash, like that was actually how she was and I just really want to go and see it because I think it would be amazing but obviously it's a lot of money, it would be me and my sister and my mum because we all watch Smash, we all like her, we all like the musical and we're just thinking it'll be costly and we've got to try and, my sister's at uni currently in Leicester so she she does like a performing arts thing so she has to be at there Monday to Friday so we can't have any time off and it's just the cost of getting us all to London we'll have to stay over and the tickets are so expensive so we're really trying and I really hope that I get to go this year uh, but time will tell and we will see if I've done it I have had the same job for the past five years I've worked at the pub which is literally five minutes away I started there when I was 17 by this video I'll be 23 so I'll have been here yeah five years and I just do waitress like front of house dealing with customers food drink all of that and I have worked four Christmases I believe maybe five Christmas days Christmas Eve Boxing Day like I do not have the Christmas period off I have not had a Christmas off since I've been 18 this year I'll be able to say I've had Christmas off and I'll be able to vlog it and I will have Christmas off and New Year off and I cannot wait for that and I really hope that I can because it's just I'm getting to the point now where it's like it sort of was my started as my part-time job and obviously I want to have a career in the media and it's not really the career that I want but I've been able to gain the skills that I've needed to help me go further and all of that and stuff. So I'm hoping I can have some Christmas vlogs up and maybe even do vlogmas. So I've never been able to do that because I've had to go to work. So it's like, what's the point? I don't have time. I'm working every day over December. It's just pointless. So hopefully by the end of this year, I will have a different job and be able to have Christmas off. This year, I would like to get a job within the media as well because I feel like, as I said before, I work in a pub at this moment. As of January 2019, I'm working in a pub as a team leader. And I would really like to finally get out there and get a job within the media because it's just, I miss doing it so much. We did a uni for three years and it was just so fun. I enjoyed every day, like, editing, filming, making, planning, like it was really good. Three years flew by and I didn't get paid for that. So I would really like to be able to finish the year with a job in the media, even if it's a tiny one where I'm just doing tea, at least just be back in that environment and be back doing what I love and what I want to do as a career. Yeah, I've moved, moved to London and I work in London now, which is crazy. You've got a job? We want to offer you the job. And I was like, I was in the car and everyone was looking at me. They were like, is that there? I was like, and it was so, I was like, thank you. So they told me my job would be working with ITV morning shows primarily. So my team is, or the team that I'm part of, it's obviously not my team, but they're working, that I'm working with are in charge of Good Morning Britain, Lorraine, Loose Women, This Morning, Emma Dale, Coronation Street, Judge Rinder, Love Island. I think that's it, I believe. So mostly morning shows, but then we've also got Emmerdale and Coronation Street, which is incredible. So the general job role is I get 
we all get a set program so like loose women lorraine all of that and you get sent all the clips from that morning when we get into the office they're already downloaded onto our server we get them we cut out the best four or five bits from each one we think of a title think of a description design a thumbnail put an in and out end cards we just design the clip how they want it send it off to our managers they come back with any spelling mistakes anything they think we could do better different title all of that send it off to ITV review then they come back tell us what again if they like it if they don't etc and then we upload it to the YouTube channel of the corresponding one and then that's that's that hello I have come to jump into this video because it's actually the damn edit in it it's the 28th of December so we are at the end of 2019 now and I needed to include this clip because there's nothing documented about this because it's so recent but actually not only have I got a job in media in six months I had my job at Little Dot but since then as of the start of December of 2019 I now have a job at ITV in London oh my gosh it is a dream come true it has been six months at the start of this year I was still working in Derby in a pub by the end of the year I am working for ITV, it is ridiculous. I'm working on the morning show, so it's like what I did a little dot. But at the ITV studios, I work in the studios, I work on the set, I go into the gallery, I edit all their social medias. I primarily look after Lorraine and Loose Women's YouTube channel. That's my job now, I'm the only one that does that. And I've been there for two weeks so far, and it's incredible. I actually can't believe it. I had to come and vlog this because it is insane. I mean, I'm gonna pick you up because I cannot tell you how ridiculous it is that I have a job at ITV. When I said at the start of the year, I'd like a media job. I didn't actually mean like, well I did, but I didn't think I'd be here at the end of 2019 saying I've got a job at the, the ITV in London. So yeah, just thought I'd jump in. I've got some pictures to overlay and stuff. But it's amazing. But I cannot believe that this is definitely my biggest goal that's been achieved like I've exceeded it I did not expect this at all so yeah just thought I'd jump in and add this little clip of information for you and that is it that is sort of my main goals of what I want out of 2019 and 2019 is the year like I was saying I'm doing this because 2018 I did a bit like graduated proper oh, big stuff like that but when I was editing it back I was like there was nothing major like going to Disneyland going on holidays moving like just exciting things because we never had any money at uni so we couldn't do it but now we're working full time I just want to see the world, vlog it, explore, like learn to drive, do all these things that finally you can start doing and then every year is going to get better so I've made this video to hopefully motivate me and if ever I need to look back at it to see what I want to do well I've got it all written down anyway just to like tick things off so yeah I just wanted to make this video to sort of see what I've achieved at the end of the year and how different I look or similar I look or where I am. This might be like, this is my room in Derby. You've probably seen it in the background of a few videos, sort of, this is what it looks like. And I want to know what my background's gonna be in December of this year when I film, or maybe even January of next year of what I've achieved in the year. Like, it's just gonna be crazy to see how different or similar life has been like I have no idea where life's going to take us this year so just wanted to make this video to just see where I am and I hope that future Alicia is happy and everything's worked out and I've especially got to go to Disneyland this year because I literally like I need to go so I'm going to get booking that when I finish this video see if I can actually get it done and booked but yeah thanks for watching I hope you've had a great 2019 and I hope 2020 is even better for you and I'm sure I'll be doing this again for 2020 to see what 2020's got to offer. Oh my gosh, that's so far away. The scariest thing is in 2020, I'll be 24 at the end of the year and that terrifies me. That is so old. I remember like starting uni at 18, like yeah, I'm only 18 and now I'll be 24 in 2020. That is horrific. But yes, thank you for watching. If you liked, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!